He says, I'm 45 years old. I'm married with two children under 12 and completely debt free. I took a new job a year and a half ago, making 100K a year. And my wife is a stay at home mom. The nature of my job requires me to be on call and close to work, leaving me little choice but to pay a premium rent of 2000 per month. We are currently watching the housing market and still learning the area and are socking money away to buy a home. I have 45000 in the bank doing nothing for me, but I've been hesitant to invest as we would like to have the money available should a home come up that we can buy. I've been told that cash in, savings in a savings account is like melting ice. What do I do with it? Hmm. Well, in this situation, you know, when it comes to saving uh, for a house, it's a little bit different than just, you know, any other money that you're putting aside. You know, typically we wouldn't invest uh, the money that you're saving for a house unless you know the timeline is, you know, five years or more. Although, Dave, I've heard you say that a lot of times you'll just pop some money in an index fund and let it sit there and grow if you, you know, know what you might use it for. I particularly don't have the stomach for that. I'd probably put it in an HYSA and just get the best return on it that I possibly could uh, for the time being because it sounds like you're kind of in that moment where it, if the right thing comes open, you're ready to jump on it. So yeah, I would keep it out of the market and I would put it in a high yield savings account. Maybe put it, you know, I've heard Dave say that he'll put it in a CD, that sort of thing. Yeah. High yield savings account, like you said, it's perfect. Um, it's not melting ice when you are getting ready to use the money and you're getting ready to use this money. And so if you were going to leave it in a stupid savings account for, 10 years, then yeah, it is melting ice, Yeah, but that's not your description. You're in the housing market. You're ready to buy and get rid of this premium rent and everything else. So yeah, you definitely go that route. It's, you're not doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Jade, I did have a young guy come in, uh, all the work I've done over the years with different NFL and, and other professional athletes. Um, they just happen to be listening to the show and say, Hey, would you look at my stuff? Yeah, I look at your stuff. So mm -hmm. it's always interesting stories. And of course, we've run into all the negative stories where they've uh, burned through all the money. You know, I made a hundred million dollars. I got nothing to show Ugh. for it, or whatever that kind of stuff. I've met those guys, and there's always a lot of shame and stuff on those guys. But in the in the in the light of what Ryan is saying, <laughs> this guy comes in. He's young. I mean, he's like twenty. Oh uh, well, twenty eight years old, maybe twenty six mm -hmm. years old. He'd been in the, he'd been in the league a few years, but not. You know, he he wasn't an old guy in the league by any stretch, and his sweet little wife and uh they they drive in in a used van wow and they come in and they go like dave you're gonna kill this we've messed up and i'm thinking they're gonna tell me they've blown all their money and he goes i i you're you're just gonna be so mad at me and i'm like i number one i'm not gonna be mad at you regardless <laughs> how dumb you are but what did you do i mean did you do something dumb and he goes yeah we've got all our money in savings account and i said <laughs> uh how much money do you have in savings account uh, 36 million. Oh, whoa. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I am not going to yell at you. I'm going to hug you because you did everything right. But one tiny thing, you yeah. actually, you're a, a pro athlete who has money. You know what this is? A unicorn. Oh, I yeah. mean, you're incredible. Way to go. You're amazing. I'm so proud of you. You actually lived on less than you make. You're driving a used car. Wow. You're not trying to impress your posse. You know, you're, you're out, not, you didn't buy your mother a house you couldn't afford to buy yeah. her. All the stupid butt stuff I usually run into, you have $36 million, and the only thing you did wrong was you didn't invest it. No, you, you get a hug. You I don't know. get a yelling, you know. So, wow. but yeah, in his case, he is melting ice for yeah. sure. He does yeah. need to get that money invested. So he was wrong, but not on the <laughs> y get yelled at wrong side, though. The smart side. Way yeah. to go, man. I mean, wow. absolute stud.